In this video, we are going to set the default time zone. Just type date underscore default underscore time zone underscore set. And press enter. Click on the first link. Let's scroll down. Click on list of supported time zone. Choose the continent that you are. If you are in Africa, click on the first link. If you are in America, click on this one. I'm in Africa, so I'll click on the first link. So choose the continent slash the capital. I'm in Ghana. So the capital of Ghana is Accra, so I'll this one, I'll click on this one. So what we need to do is to go to your call folder, create a new file, call it init.php. Then over here, open your PHP tag, just open it. And over here, write ob underscore start so this one over i start the output buffer so i turn it on the semicolon and over will be dates underscore default underscore set and over will be africa or you can choose to copy it here to save time copy it over here and paste it here this one will be semicolon and let's start the session so session underscore start and let's define what the url so this one www underscore roots then this one will be http Columns slash slash localhost slash Instagram slash and this one is semicolon. Then the next thing that I want us to do is to create two functions. The first one. in function to escape so by a quick file inside the call create a file called functions dot php then open your php tag then over here be function h this one be dollar string which is equal to then this what we have the empty string then this one will just return it's your own special char then the last string semicolon then over it we have function again escape then this one will be a string again then over it will just return HTML entities. Then this one be the string. Then this one. Yeah. And let's remove this one and choose to leave it. Then go to your init.php. Then over here, just require underscore once. And this one be our functions. Mm -hmm. 